Give me another concept. Another idea. I'm back again do me a favor make sure you hit the like button share subscribe and hit the notification bell just in case I drop a fire video and um, you will be able to get that notification because I'm gonna be dropping a lot of videos during this Diddy fiasco and whatever else comes along with it okay because it's exciting okay it's a lot of shit coming out right now but in the midst of all this Diddy thing Diddy gate we're gonna call it Diddy gate okay in the midst of Diddy gate somebody sued my boy Nelly and I'm pissed off why the same lunatics want to sue him now that he's back in the spotlight is it because they, they don't have nothing to do with it and he partnered up with his woman and they making money and they don't have no place in it? Well, let's take a look at this article from Rolling Stone. Okay, because I'm mad about this. Nelly faces lawsuit from St. Lunatics over country grammar credits. Members of St. Wait, let me, let me turn this off a look because I, I don't want to be making a thousand mistakes. Members of Nelly's St. Lunatics crew <laughs> Members of Nelly's St. Lunatics crew have filed a lawsuit against the rapper that claims they never received proper credit or royalties from his 2000 album Country Grammar. Attorneys for St. Lunatics members Ali, Murphy Lee, Kaiwan, and City Spud, all of whom appear on Country Grammar, filed the complaint Wednesday at a Manhattan federal court. Why they filed it in New York, though? While the St. Lunatics are credited with both performing and songwriting on some tracks notably, Ali and Murphy Lee appear and co-wrote the hit Batter Up and City Spud on the hit Ride With Me. If you really want to take a ride with me, oh, I do, I feel this way. Hey, must be the money. No, I like that song. The lawsuit against Nelly, real name Cornell Haynes, claims that the final credits undersold their actual contributions to the album and thus deprived them of royalties. For instance, Nelly's breakthrough single Country Grammar, Hot Shit, is credited to only the rapper and producer Jason Epperson, but the St. Lunatics members claim they were lyric writers on the track. Nelly allegedly promised to give them writing and publishing credit on multiple country grammar tracks, but never did. Every time plaintiffs confronted defendant Haynes, he would assure them as friends he would never pre prevent them from receiving the financial success they were entitled to, the lawsuit states. Unfortunately, plaintiffs, reasonably believing that their friend and former band member would never steal credit for writing the original compositions, did not initially pursue any legal remedies. Formed in the early 90s, the St. Lunatics, which included Nelly before he embarked on his solo career, were childhood friends in St. Louis that released their debut single, Gimme What You Got, in 1996. Nelly signed his own record contract a few years later, and following the success of Country Grammar, and the St. Lunatics contributions, the group with Nelly released their own LP, 2001's Free City. In the quarter century that followed, however, Nelly allegedly never made good on his promise to properly credit the St. Lunatics, leading to the lawsuit. Despite repeatedly promising plaintiffs that they would receive full recognition and credit, it eventually became clear that defendant Haynes had no intention of providing the plaintiffs with any such credit or recognition. <sighs> oh, I'm so mad about that. Like, anytime, you know, Nelly's record is clean so far. Like, I thought that they had a good relationship because recently, when Nelly was performing, one of the St. Lunatics jumped on stage with him and he was rocking with him. You know what I'm saying? He was his hype man and they was doing their thing. And I, I remember thinking to myself, 
good. I'm glad they're not beefing and talking about each other and suing each other like most groups do. But, hey, it happened. It always happens. Somebody's ego gets in the way or somebody's disgruntled because someone went off and started doing their own thing. Oh, I'm tired, y'all. So it's always something. But, oh, man. $50 million is a lot of freaking money. Like, how much money do they think that he made unless they upped the fee that they want to get, the compensatory fee that they wanted so that they could get at least $10 million or some type of million. It's sad. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to report that real quick. Peace and love. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. One.